have heard from so many of you anxious to find the COVID-19 vaccine. Right now, you just can't show up at a hospital or a pharmacy and get one. And while we wait to learn exactly when the vaccine will be available to everyone, that is often the cue for crooks to step in and make a quick buck. NBC5 response reporter Deanna Zoga shows you how to avoid them. It was great. As you watch frontline healthcare workers get the first COVID-19 vaccines in North Texas, you may see promise of better days ahead. Criminals, however, see a new way to steal from you. They're going to change their scam based off of those headlines uh, to make it seem more credible uh, for us. Since vaccine distribution is still being worked out, Reed Tepfer, an attorney with the Federal Trade Commission, says it's a matter of time before a criminal cottage industry steps in with false promises. Here's how to avoid a COVID crook. If someone offers you early access to a vaccine or says you need to pay to get on a list, that's a lie. If someone's trying to sell you early access, if they're contacting you by text, email, social media, even if they show up at your door offering you that, that's a scam. Stop. Dr. James Pinckney is the CEO of Diamond Physicians, which offers concierge medical care. No, there, there's no secret list for the rich and famous. Um, even the logistics of transporting the COVID-19 vaccine is very challenging. He explains the federal government allocates doses to states and the state decides who's next in line. With that said, no one has doses to sell you. In fact, the federal government says the vaccine will be free for most people. And finally, no one legitimate will call you about the vaccine and ask for your social security number, bank account, or credit card information. That's a sure sign of a scam if somebody is contacting you and asking for that. Some of this information may sound basic, but don't underestimate how convincing criminals can be. They usually push you to move quickly so that you don't have time to think about what they're actually asking you to do. You can read up on this on NBCDFW.com slash response. There you'll also find out how to report a scam when you spot one. Deanna Zoga, NBC5 responds. As you know, right now, COVID vaccine doses are extremely limited. The DFW Hospital Council tells us the vaccine could be widely available between April and late summer of this year. But of course, we're watching it for you.